Hey guys, it's JJ here. I'm here today. We're gonna record a little bit of War Z. I'm gonna show you a little bit about character creation and show you a bit about the universal inventory, which is one of the things that I think really separates this game completely with Daisy because, yeah, this game you can actually save some of your shit and you're not just dying and you know getting it looted out of your tents all the time and you can actually save some of it so that's kinda a neat thing but uh, so I guess some of the hardcore players don't like that and they're like ah oh, that's stupid that's not realistic but, well you know what that's how they made it it's you know too bad I like it a lot of other people like it and it gives you something to work towards you know and you know, everybody can do it, so it's not like anyone has an advantage. So, yeah. And another thing that's been controversial, I guess, is the marketplace. People are able to buy money, like in game currency, not at this moment, but unless you buy a legendary package which has the in game currency included. And people are saying that it gives you an unfair advantage and really I disagree there as well because if you look in the marketplace okay just for example ammo is really rare in this game you don't find hardly at all and the, the ammo here for these weapons one one mag is crazy expensive and you never find these guns anywhere really well, except for maybe the AK. I guess you might find an AK. But still, SVD, that's the only thing you can get. Like gold coins, that's the currency that you buy or you get with a legend package. Like I didn't buy any of this extra, I just bought a legend package and this is how much I got. And this is the in-game currency, just dollars, normal dollars. And you find this by killing zombies and they drop so far the highest amount that I've found off of a zombie drop was $96 or something like that. So I've been playing this game probably about a week on and off. Not very often really yet. So yeah, I, I guess it's possible that you could accumulate. So, But like I was saying, it's, it's not like you're going to get a huge advantage from buying an arrow or an SVD. Like I've never seen an SVD in the game. I've never seen a crossbow. Um, melee weapons, these can be handy, but they're really cheap, and yeah, like, it's good to start a new character with a bat or a melee weapon. Um, hammers, I guess they're pretty expensive dollars, but you find a lot of these in world. Um, you can find everything in world, so that's another good thing. It's not nothing unfair about this. Chem lights, like, really, it's items that are fairly useless in game that you can buy for the currency um, a lot of masks and hats and an Alice pack and you know that's handy but you can find those as well you can find these it's uh, I, I found one my first day playing actually I killed a zombie with a pumpkin head and it dropped its pumpkin head so it was kinda cool night vision goggles they work the same as Daisy but they're expensive and if you die they're gone if you have them on you. Food and drink um, these are uh, meal ready to eat uh, these are extremely good at replenishing your your hunger um, electro aid this is the equivalent to the food for your thirst it's very good at replenishing thirst. Um, then these are your, your cash items, your dollar items. And uh, they're not so good as these, but you know, they're pretty good still. Um, medical items, antibiotics, good for if you have like a cold or, you know, if you start coughing or get sick, then you use that. Painkillers is a, a thing to cure your health. You can replenish your hit points by using painkillers and bandages. Um, I guess goes without saying that bandages DX are more effective than normal bandages. Um, CO1 vaccines, 
there is a chance, a percentage, that when you are attacked by zombies you will get bit and infected. So you need to stab yourself with one of these. And this one is more effective than this one, obviously. Um, med kits are also extremely good at replenishing hit points. Uh, range finders, very expensive and very useful, I guess, if you have a sniper rifle, but I've never found one. Um, now, time capsules, these are a really cool addition into the game. Um, write a message and leave it anywhere in the world for others to find. Like, I, I really like that idea. It's going to really promote RP, I believe, to a certain extent, if it's not just like Daisy is and everybody just kills everybody right away, which is, is what it seems to be at this point in time because, you know, I guess there's quite a few little things that they haven't quite implemented yet into until the full release. So um, I'm not going to buy any of these or anything like that. It just seems like a waste at this point because upon full release I've heard a rumor that the universal inventory will be wiped and everybody's characters will be wiped and everyone will start fresh. I don't know if there's any truth to it or not but yeah. Anyway here's the a couple weapon attachments you can purchase for mostly dollars. Um, this one I could buy but I don't see the point in spending this and putting it on a gun that I'm going to go in game and use for half an hour maybe before I get killed. So yeah, it's it's pretty bad in the in game. Like the map hasn't been opened up completely. So there's up to 40 players on a fairly small map and everyone's bumping into each other regularly and killing each other and very few friendlies and it's pretty chaotic at the moment. But you know, it's it's fun. It's it's different, and you know, I'm really interested in seeing what they do with it. So, if I missed anything, like I'll go through the character creation as well. Um, but if I missed anything with the marketplace, any of you want? Oh, these here. Um, apparently, you can find stem cells from zombies. So if you kill zombies, they can drop stem cells. And you can exchange stem cells for gold coins. So you can still get this currency by killing zombies in the game. So there is an alternative to buying them with cash. It's just much easier to buy them with cash or buy a legend package if you really want, you know, a boonie cover or an Alice pack or a Halloween special pumpkin head which I have anyway so it's it's kinda cool yeah I'll show you my inventory um, I found a couple guns these are by no means high range guns I guess they're, they're not bad but uh, ammo like I said extremely rare I found quite a few 9mm mags but they're very common well fairly common and I've only found one 9mm gun before handgun and I died and lost that by some guy with a hammer so yeah congrats to you bud enjoy the gun um, there's my Halloween hat and you can get large backpacks armor um, my water all my food and drinks that have accumulated that well not all because you need to eat them fairly regularly or else you'll die um, a couple of the crappier vaccines couple med kits, lots of painkillers. These are very common because people don't, well, people really like their drugs. Heh. <laughs> so that's my inventory. I'm hoping it'll grow quite substantially after they wipe it, but I'm not going to go to any extent to build it up right now if it's just going to get erased. I'm just going to have fun and kill some people. So yeah, I, I created a new character. I unlocked this guy with um, one point of gold coin, one gold coin. And I uh, unlocked another guy with one gold coin as well. So this is the first step in creating a character. You got your hardcore normal modes. As far as I can understand, at this point in time, the hardcore mode does not work. 
so it is normal mode no matter what mode you choose but the difference is supposed to be on normal mode if you die you will drop all your stuff your character will be dead for all intents and purposes but you will not be able to access that character for one hour so basically your inventory is cleared you're moved to a random spawn point and you can't use this character for one hour um, hardcore mode if you die your character is deleted that is how it's supposed to be but that's not how it's working right now so yeah that'll be interesting they'll have ladders for each leaderboard ladders for each and um, each server will well have the option I believe to include include both types of players on the server or one or the other so it's pretty open in that respect so I don't know let's just uh, make a random name here Joey yeah okay we'll use Joey so I unlocked this guy and I unlocked this guy with one gold coin each these are the default characters one female character so far I'm thinking that they're gonna have two more female characters and two more male characters I'm not positive maybe they're gonna have three more and two more I, I, I really don't know but I know there's gonna be more female characters available soon um, we'll use this guy cause just because we're rebels without a cause hey cool I like the shades bud um, whoa alright we'll go with this and oh cool jacket yeah, that matches the pants too alright we'll go with this Joey alright Joey uh, Joey's in use Joey yeah that name is in use too Joey there we go. Joy. All right.